Hey guys, Tepco Sacker Prayer. Today we're going to be talking about ethanol fuel and how it affects your two-stroke. And I'm picking a two-stroke over a four-stroke for a reason. Before we get started, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Subscribe for further notifications. Let's get started. So the reason that I'm talking about two-strokes over four-strokes for ethanol fuel is because of the way that the engine accepts the fuel. The way that a four-stroke works, it's going to go through your intake valve. It's going to go through your carburetor, your intake valve. It's going to get burnt and it's going to go out the exhaust. It's a little bit different. The, um, the way that a two-stroke works is that the fuel is going to go into the crankcase first, then it's going to get pushed around your transfer ports up to the top of the piston, it's going to get compressed and go out of the, uh, and after it gets burnt, it's going to be put out of the exhaust. What can happen with a two-stroke is if your engine is at rest, the exhaust is going to be open to the outside air, and it's going to be able to let air into the combustion, combustion part of your engine, as well as the transfer ports and the fuel that's sitting in your crankcase when your bike is off. Ethanol is is 10% ethanol gasoline can accept about three quarters uh, of an ounce of water and that will stay levitated in the fuel. When it gets beyond that, it starts to separate. I'll show you a picture of separated uh, fuel and uh, water right here. And as we know, water, as it separates, will drop down to the bottom uh, of the fuel. So if you have a two-stroke engine and the engine's sitting for a long time, say you put it up for the winter time, there's going to be a lot of moisture in the air. The fuel's going to attract the water. Water is going to sit there in your crankcase and... If you have a set of uh, bearings that's got water in it, this is a set of main bearings out of a YZ250. They're rusted. Hopefully you can see that. But these don't even turn. I can't even turn these things. They're completely, completely seized from water sitting on your main bearings. And that's why I picked two strokes over four strokes because the water on your main bearings is going to destroy them. It's going to tear them up. It's going to cause long-term damage. Even if you get a little bit of rust on there, you fire it up, it's probably going to run. Your bearings are going to get a little loud. They're going to eat themselves up and they're going to destroy your bottom end. So what I recommend that you do is only mix enough fuel to uh, run for about 30 days. When you do get new fuel in your can, make sure you empty your can out and get all the water out because as water sits in that can, it's going to continue to build up if you just keep putting gas on top of gas on top of gas. So try to find, um, either try to find ethanol free fuel or run that constantly or make sure you dump your gas can out. On your gas can, make sure the gas can is sealed completely so it doesn't get any of the outside air where it can attract that moisture. Ethanol fuel just does that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to suck in that, that moisture out of the air. Um, and remember, fuel stabilizers are only good for short periods of time. Uh, I wouldn't even waste my time with them. Just make sure that you're uh, draining your fuel. Store all your items dry. If you're going to store them for long periods of time, use some fogging oil. Uh, I'll do a separate video on fogging oil. It's great stuff. But it basically puts a coat of oil on everything and it protects it while it sits. Um, so that will help protect everything in case moisture goes in there. Uh, what I would recommend you do is find the octane that's recommended for your vehicle, uh, whether it be 89 or 91, 93. Find a, find a gas station that has ethanol-free fuel and use that. But if you have to use ethanol-free fuel, just shake your can up before you use it. Make sure you use it all. Keep your can dry when you're adding it back in. Uh, if you're going to store your bike for short periods of time, make sure that your carburetor is completely dry. If you have one of those exhaust plugs you can put in while you're cleaning your two-stroke, stick it in the exhaust. It stops air from getting in there, uh, and you'd be good to go, guys. Hopefully this helps you out. Stay away from the ethanol fuel if you can, but make sure everything stays dry inside of your engine uh, and keep your bikes running good. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notification, guys. Until next time, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.